She explained every dollar that they said she's stealing. She explained it in their faces and none of them had a rebuttal. The trustees didn't have any replies for anything and they and they had chances to speak. They had opportunities to speak. And they were accusing her of things and she was and she was laying it she she was very prepared last night. She had all her receipts and everything. And the only thing they could really stick to her was all these bills for restaurants and travel and shit like that. But even she said that that's in the budget. It's in the budget. They have a budget for food. Like if they have a meeting, they get, it gets catered. If they have a um, uh, um, lunch, they, 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 their lunches are catered. I was surprised, man. I was shocked, man. I was shocked, man, last night. I was I was just I was shocked. I'm not even gonna lie, man. WGN investigates caught in the middle of dysfunction in Dalton. We've been reporting on questionable spending by the suburbs leader. But now the story of those impacted by the political paralysis fueled by mismanagement and mistrust. Here's investigative reporter Ben Bradley. Hey guys, this is Mayor Tiffany Henry, the people's mayor. We are out here throughout the community. See, this the shit they don't like. This this flamboyancy. I and, and I can understand that. We are taking care of the business of the people. On this day, the people's business was tree trimming. Right now, your prayers have been answered. We are cutting and trimming trees. Mayor Tiffany Henyard isn't shy about promoting herself or her work. Hey guys! But WG Yeah, I mean, I can understand why people don't like this, man. I can understand why the trustees don't like this. I can understand that, man. I ain't I'm not no fool, man. You the mayor, you supposed to be fucking professional and shit. I get that. I'm not I, I trust me, I understand that. But is she actually doing the crime that she they're saying she doing? The GN investigates found there are often payment problems for Henyard's pet projects. The village owed more than $30,000 for this skating rink and didn't pay until a lawyer sent a threatening letter. Records show a company that repaved Dalton streets in 2022 sent bills for more than a year on a $378,000 balance. With interest, the bill has now grown to more than $427,000. Last month, a bank threatened to repossess more than a dozen village vehicles, including police cars, because lease payments were... She answered this question about the cars, too. And nobody from the trustees said anything. None of them objected to what she said. This all, A lot of these problems she inherited from the previous mayor. ...were missed. After our reporting, the village sent a check. We're going to start the special board meeting of the trustees... Henyard's opponents on the village board say the mayor refuses to provide records to prove expenses are legit, and some bills they've approved don't get paid. We know one thing, the finances aren't good, but specifically where we're at, that is still, we're still left in the dark. We have vendors calling us every day for non-payment. A lot of these been vendors we don't even know are doing the work. As WGN Investigates has reported, taxpayer money hasn't stopped flowing to fund Henyard's security detail, meals at pricey restaurants, even first class. Yeah, now the meals at the pricey restaurants, that's in the budget, though. You got to understand, like, they have a budget for her to go out with people. All mayors, all cities have a budget for you to wine and dine people. And when you go out to lunch, when you're meeting and shit like that. Now, is it, should you go to fucking Chez Voulet every fucking day? No, but should you go to Subway sometime and shit? Yeah, definitely, but that shit is in the budget, man. The restaurants, even first-class travel. Henyard is not only the mayor of Dalton, she's also the supervisor of Thornton Township. Records show she and her entourage have billed taxpayers for tens of thousands of dollars for unexplained trips and stays at high-end hotels, including the four... This part right here, 
of course, this is sisters doing all sisters do this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not um absolving her of this. I'm not making excuses for this. This part, traveling and shit, tra- globe trotting. Her trying to be a globe trotter. I'm not, I'm I'm yeah, I, I can't I can't explain that. Four seasons. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. As for the tree trimming, Henyard was happy to promote it. We had a little storm last night, and some trees fell down. This tree fell on this person's car. While blaming trustees for failing to pay for it. I wanted to um, bring to your attention last night's board meeting that the board of trustees voted not to pay tree companies uh, that is servicing our area. Um, Despite what people may think or may know is they still showed up today to work and they're helping the residents get back on their feet, cutting down their trees. They never give a reason why they just we're not going to pay you. The tree trimming company's owner says he does work for several suburbs, but the dysfunction in Dalton is unique and costly to taxpayers. With all the compounding interest, their balance as of this coming Monday is going to be $401,380.73 in rolling. Trustees opposed to Mayor Henyard say the tree trimming operation is a prime example of their frustration. They say Henyard made her own deal for the work, didn't consult with trustees ahead of time. There was no contract, and the $400,000 amount far exceeds the budget, and that's why they won't pay it. We asked the village of Dalton for comment, as well as a list of past. Um, now, I want you guys to know I'm not absolving her of anything. I'm just. I, there are some things that I would like to touch on, Madam Mayor, if I can. Um, so that way, everybody has a clear understanding when it comes down to these nightclubs and what actually was going on with the nightclubs. Uh, I'm glad that the owner of Ricky's is still here because in my hand, I have all the calls that the Dalton Police Department responded to, also where we had to call outside agencies, where there were major fights, shootings, and, and guess what, people... Well, let me, okay, I understand. Major fights, shootings, and incidents at your, at your location. You don't have to believe me. You can, you can FOIA it, whereas there's also body cam footage. Okay, so in short, the mayor had nothing to do with closing down the club. It was the housing department, the police department, whereas we enforced it because of the violations to where you did not have your license. So yes, your business was closed down for the activity that was going on in your club. Now, I have also... Look, man, if, listen, man, that guy told the news that she shut down his club because he didn't give her a donation to her, her campaign. The police chief says he didn't have a license. It was shootings and fightings. They had to shut the club down. The guy's right there. He's not saying anything. So how am I supposed to still blame Tiffany Henyard for that? Also, I have also, okay, I have let, also let invited you to come and see me that whereas we can correct some of the issues with your club. You failed to show up. You had your hearings. It wasn't just something that we did. You had your, you had your hearings. You missed your hearings. The last meeting that the last hearing that we had, you didn't show up. So yes, he told the guy, "We can correct this stuff at your club and get your club back open." The guy didn't show up. The guy's right there. He's not saying, "Man, I did show up, man. You were there, motherfucker. I did show up." He's not saying anything. The police chief says they shut his club down because of sun violence. And he didn't have a license. And it was a bunch of sun violence at his club. He told the news that Tiffany Henyard shut his club down because he didn't give her a donation. Yeah, there's someone in the chat named Super Mayor Tiffany Henyard. <laughs> but, but, but Fisherman, listen, man, I follow the evidence, man. You dig what I'm saying? 
I'm not trying to say that I I would want her as my man or I like her antics or that everything she's being accused of is false. I'm just saying if the people are right here, fishermen, and the, the, the they're giving receipts of what really happened and the people are not saying, man, you're a fucking liar. I did show up to my meeting. Da, 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 da. No, it wasn't shootings at my club. Da, 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 da. We have a safe club. I have my license. The guy's not saying any of that. You feel me on that, Fisherman? I mean, we're never going to know what the truth is. It's just going to be devolve into chaos. It's already started. I mean, you can know. All the guy got to do is say, I do have a license. Here's my license. Didn't I know, but you're like the both, neither side is ever going to back down. It's just going to be, and you're never going to know who is what or where. Like, I'm sure there's liars on both sides for different reasons yeah, I, in different cases. I, I'm sure she's lying about a lot of things. But what I'm saying is there were news stories done where they went and interviewed these club owners and they were saying, my club's been shut down by Tiffany Henry. Yeah, they were like playing, playing victims. I mean, like, this is what, this is like some community stuff. Yes, yeah, sir, your club was shut, was shut down. I also have the U-Haul location in a residence in Dalton. Know about that U-Haul place on 142nd uh, next to the expressway. So whereas what he was doing, he did not have a license. But what he was hosting was a strip club joint. All on paperwork, all on video. So, so the U-Haul guy who also they did a story about that, they interviewed him. He said she shut down his U-Haul. He doesn't have a license. He's right there. He's not saying... No, I have a license. They're saying not only was it did he not have a license for U Haul, but he turned it into a strip club at night with no license. Wait, he was using a U Haul business as a strip club. Well, I mean, you know, like just any 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 building can be used as a strip club. Mostly. I know, but I know, but it's just like that's just good as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we can correct some of the issues with your club. You failed to show up. You had your hearings. It wasn't just something that we did. You had your, you had your hearings. You missed your hearings. The last meeting that the last hearing that we had, you didn't show up. So yes, sir, your club was, show, was shut down. I also have the U-Haul location in a residence in Dalton. I know about that U-Haul place on 142nd uh, next to the expressway. To so whereas what he was doing, he did not have a license, but what he was hosting was a strip club joint all on paperwork all on video okay so this is nothing that's being made up this is nothing that that uh you can't look up yourself also with pablo's pablo's that business was shut down because of the incidents that happened there where the shootings whereas they had the fights where we had to call outside agencies okay to where even the Burger King across the street got shot up. So this is nothing that's being made up. So, like, these places are sons' establishments, and there's a bunch of shootings there, and the people don't have their licenses. And then they're going to the news stations and saying that Tiffany Henyard personally shut them down because they didn't give her a donation for her campaign. And it's like, yo, this is the meeting. This is your chance to speak your piece. Get on the mic and tell us, hey, call this guy a liar. Say, hey, man, I do have my license. Here it is right here. There weren't any shootings at my club. You're a fucking liar. She shut my club down because I didn't give her a donation. They're not doing that. And this was the whole two hours. I don't want to bore you. But the whole two-hour thing was just a bunch of this shit. So I don't want to I don't want to bore you with the whole fucking thing, but god damn, man, I watched the whole fucking thing. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? These people ain't shit either. These trustees and these business owners in this town, they a bunch of sun turds too.
Department, we conducted 144 inspections for the month of February. We conducted 69 housing complaints, five animal rescues, and 155 citations totaling 29,500. I just want to say uh, to the trustees, like, I don't know what money was taken from my budget, but animal control is very much needed here in the village. And we working with a skeleton crew and, and the people need to be trained for that. And there's no money for that. And it's so unfortunate that the residents of Dalton will suffer because we got a lot of stray dogs that's running around <laughs> and we have no. <laughs> <laughs> like this is, this town is a sun, sun town is shooting mm -hmm. and stray dogs. Like, she got nobody a, nobody knows where money is in any part of the budget <laughs> right none of the business owners have licenses people are just mm -hmm. operating businesses without licenses and yeah, there's no, shootings no inspections at, there's there's no inspections there's shootings at business it's one thing to not have a license it's another thing for uh, somebody to be shot Keep dead bodies and fucking wounded people to be strewn all over your unlicensed business, and the cops respond to it multiple times over and over and over. And then there's fucking stray dogs everywhere. Nobody to get them. <laughs> we really do. And it's sad. Also, I just wanted to say that, uh, Madam Mayor, sometimes the best man for a job is a woman. Mm -hmm. Keep your head up. You know, it, it, it saddens me that I have to sit here and we can't work together for the greater good of the community. Let's just get something done for the people. Okay, you don't like the mayor. You don't like what she did. Y'all say the feds are coming. Let the feds do their job. <laughs> Let the feds do their job. Now, once the feds come and they don't find anything, are you guys going to be willing to apologize to this lady? Because everybody know the price of everything that's happened. Or do anybody know the cost that she paid to do it? Now, I really don't know anybody here personally, and I didn't do no favors to get no job or anything like that. But I come to this job every day, and I work hard, and I got a bunch of hardworking employees. And it's sad that the news cameras and the media come into Village Hall and create a hostile work environment mm -hmm. where people ducking and hiding because they don't want to be put on camera about something we have no idea or nothing to do with. Mm -hmm. It's sad that we have to suffer as the employees here of the village. Mm -hmm. Y'all out of order. Quiet, please. Quiet. Let her finish her and report. As far as the businesses goes, they didn't get business license. And how many times were you warned about the garbage and the trash that was never picked up? Garbage and beer bottles everywhere, over everything, every day. Other other business. Who believes that? That the businesses had garbage and trash everywhere? I do. Probably. <laughs> I mean, it's just a sunny area. The this dysfunction. Is what's happen. I can't even yeah, imagine but, the dysfunction. Yeah, but my thing is okay. It's one thing to have garbage and trash everywhere. It's one thing to have people wounded and shot and police coming to your and ambulances coming to your business to fucking pick up bodies and shit. It's another thing if you don't have a fucking license. Oh no, I agree. <laughs> like, it's on. like getting it's like getting pulled over and uh you've got drugs in your car and you're like, well, you know, like uh if you didn't pull me over, you wouldn't have found out. But you always had drugs in your car, you know? It's kind of the same right. idea. Business license. And how many times were you warned about the garbage and the trash that was never picked up? Garbage and beer bottles everywhere, over everything, every day. Other, other businesses are saying, hey, we don't have any parking spaces for, for our, our patrons to come into our business because what once was a gaming cafe has turned into a full-fledged lounge. And people come here into our town and evidently nobody's read the ordinance because the ordinance says you have to be a resident to be a, a business owner in Dalton. So nobody's read that. I 
I live here and I'm a resident here. I'm a taxpayer citizen here. I have a passion for what I do, but it, it's hard to do a job when everybody's just out to get you for no reason. Targeting, mm -hmm. targeting. I do a great job, but I'm targeted, I guess, because you say I'm the mayor's pick. Well, she did, she got a good pick. Mm -hmm. She got a great pick. And if all the stuff y'all say I do on top of me doing a great job, then you probably find you a Kim. I just want us to get along for the greater good of the community. And if you guys don't like what the mayor do, at least respect her and give her opportunity to run her term. And like she say, beat her at the pole. That part. She's been fighting an uphill battle since three weeks of being into the office. Mm -hmm. right. An uphill battle. Three weeks of being in the office. You guys did a recall on his leg. What was the recall about? How mm -hmm. much did the recall cost? Mm -hmm. And when she inherited this town, I believe mm -hmm. we was in debt $6 million to uh, the city of Chicago for water. A lie. So here's the part. Okay, they was in debt $6 million when she got there. None of the fucking trustees ever disputed that. They never disputed that. And, and and that was troubling to me. I wanted the trustee to get up and say, nah, man, it was you created that six million dollar debt. It was you. Not they didn't do that. Am I crazy for thinking yeah. like <laughs> I just think it's it's just probably holistic dysfunction and everyone's got skeletons in their closet. For water. Like everybody wanna say we didn't know the city of Chicago for water. So if we had a $7 million deficit now, how much of that deficit came from the water bill that was carried over from the last administration? She didn't get this, this uh, position without uh, any deficit. It was money owed to everybody when she inherited the office. Okay, you don't like her. You don't like what she's doing, but you should at least respect the person that was voted in to be our mayor. And until somebody show me where she's did something wrong or the feds show up to get her, then we're going to continue to do a great job for the village of Dalton. And that ends my report. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's two hours, but they, they had opportunities to refute that. And none of them did. So it's like... <laughs> Listen, man. I, you know, you know me, man. I, I, I don't like sister mayors, man. I, I would, I, I would prefer that there were no sister mayors. But it is what it is, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's you your uh, president presidential campaign slogan. <laughs> yeah, man. It is what it yeah, is. Man. No solutions. Get rid of sister mayors, man. If you vote for me, I will make sure there's no sister mayors. By the end of my administration. Um, yeah, man. I'm I'm sorry, man. People see, see this is the thing. People, people don't like I uh, people don't understand, man. I I don't care, man. I that's why I say I, I like white people. Motherfuckers don't like when I say I like white people. You what you mean you like white people? You conquered, you slave. Like, yeah, <laughs> I like white people. I'm not oh well you, you, you I'm looking at the evidence, man. The evidence in my life. Well, all the looking at the evidence. I just follow the evidence, man. 